Because of Christ. One minister was just killed in Cali, Colombia, where we're building a church. Why was he killed? Because the cartel members, drug addicts were being saved, dealers were being saved. What did they do? They killed the pastor. He told us to drop him off, but I said, no, just, just leave me here, I can walk. That was the last time I saw him. We are strong and Mars with weakness in our walls. I want you to think of what this means, my life for the gospel, my life for the gospel. With his death, it's like, it encouraged us to, to, like, to want to do the same, to lay down our lives for the Lord and not just die for him, but to live for him. That can be harder than dying for him. increasing opposition to the gospel message in days to come in America because the gospel message is going to become increasingly biblical the gospel message is going to become increasingly radical and revolutionary and the gospel message is going to become a threat to this world system the gospel is going to become an increasing threat to worldliness, to materialism, and greed, and the gods of sports, entertainment, fashion. The gospel is going to become an increasing threat to the rising tide of Satanism and false religions. And the results will be the same as in the book of Acts. Uproar, persecution, and great moving of God. And I believe we've come to the time for the accumulated prayers of the saints are arising in one generation. And God is going to answer all those accumulated prayers and remember all those covenants. And it's going to come down on you guys. I'm telling you young kids, I believe the greatest awakening is coming to your lives, to this generation. But it is preceded by generations of mothers and fathers who have been crying out for the manifestation of a generation that would bomb the earth. I tell you what, we stand on the shoulders of forefathers and foremothers who have paid a price. that went after Jesus and followed him all the way to the cross. We know what happened with Judas. But what happened to the rest of them? Andrew died in Greece. He was crucified on an X-shaped cross, felt unworthy to die on the same type cross as his Lord. Bartholomew was preaching in India. He died a martyr's death. He was filleted alive with knives. James the Elder was martyred first. He was slain by Herod Agrippa. James the Lesser was crucified in Egypt. His body was sawed in pieces. John the Revelator, an attempt was made on his life by giving him a chalice of poison from which he drank and God spared him. He died of natural causes. Jude was killed. He was shot with arrows at Mount Ararat. 
Matthew laid down his life for Jesus. History records he became a missionary and disappeared during his labors. Peter was martyred. He requested that he might be crucified upside down. He felt he was not worthy to die as his Lord had died. Philip died by hanging. While he was dying, he requested that his body be wrapped, not in fine linen, but in papyrus, for he was not worthy that even his body should be treated as the body of Jesus had been treated. Simon the Zealot, tradition says he died on the mission field as a martyr. Thomas, tradition says that he was commissioned to build a palace for the king of India. There he was killed with a spear as a martyr. Man, you guys, you guys inspired me. I want to be able to talk to them. I want to be able to look at them and I want them to look at me and I want them to say, well done, Steve. God. Say this with me, Heavenly Father, search my heart, examine me even now, but this is my desire, my life for the gospel. Whatever it takes, Lord, make it real, that I may live a life that makes sense in the light of eternity. Jesus, my life for you.